The University of Maryland Dental School was founded in 1840 in Baltimore and was the first dental school in the world. We're very proud of our history of excellence and innovation here, and the Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery strives to maintain this in innovation in clinical surgery, research, and education. Maxillofacial surgery is any surgery involving above the clavicle to the frontal bone, uh, not excluding the brain. We primarily function at the medical center, treating high-level problems such as head and neck cancer, patients who need facial reconstruction, patients who require uh, traumatic uh, facial injury reconstruction, pediatric patients, uh, children with cleft lip and palate and other craniofacial disorders, patients with TMJ problems, all while uh, teaching the residents how to do these things so that they can go out and, and do these things on their own. So the case I remember most, probably the first case of bilateral cleft lip and palate that I took care of as a faculty here. And I had the opportunity to meet his mom prenatally uh, after she had the diagnosis made and was able to see him when he was delivered and um, provide care for him in the uh, neonatal intensive care unit. In addition to performing his lip repair at about three months of age and performing the palate repair at about a year of age. And I've been following him along ever since and it's been about 10 years. Transoral robotic surgery or TORS for short form um, is um, the use of uh, robotics through minimally invasive uh, surgical techniques to uh, access tumors, especially for management of cancers of the oral cavity and oral pharynx. There's a 16-year-old girl who's referred to me to reconstruct her jaw um, following removal of her condyle to the mid-body of, of her jaw for a malignant tumor. After much deliberation with mom and dad, we chose a um, non-weight-bearing bone in her leg. So using virtual surgery planning, we were able to uh, plan and map out this new jaw from her leg bone and uh, she's done well to date. She's about a year and a half since her surgery. She's participated in the Nutcracker in the lead role and she's done really well in track and field um, competing in Maryland. I had a patient who has significant vascular disease and not able to use conventional flaps such as the fibula flap. Uh, we used a, a flap with its vascularized blood supply from the shoulder blade to reconstruct the jaw. Uh, this is known as a, a scapula osteocutaneous free flap. The patient uh, did very well, was rehabilitated to speech and swallowing therapy, and went off for uh, adjuvant radiation therapy, and is subsequently doing uh, very well. Some of the surgeries that I do combine both orthognathic surgery and temporomandibular joint surgery. Uh, one case was a 31-year-old male who uh, had orthognathic surgery 10 years earlier uh, elsewhere and, uh, and continued to develop a, a progressive facial asymmetry secondary to a tumor growing in his joint. Uh, so we corrected him with orthognathic surgery and custom joint replacement. So from the picture you can see that there's significant improvement in, in the patient's facial symmetry and if you look at the bite you can see a vast improvement in his bite. This department is unique because we have all the attendees that they have their own interest in practicing the speciality of oral and maxillofacial surgery. We have people that are interested in temporomandibular joint, people that are interested in trauma, people that are interested in cancer. I think the, uh, the residency program is attractive for students uh, because of the diverse faculty and the scope of our practice. We, we do, between the six faculty, cover the full spectrum of maxillofacial surgery. In the immediate next five years, we have a uh, endowment to develop a translational research laboratory and our increased use of information technology and computer planning will steer us forward over the next 10 to 20 years and enable us to take full advantage of any further developments in science that occur. The future of the University of Maryland Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery is very bright. We will continue to grow as a center of excellence nationally and internationally.